Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson, and here's the seafood news for the week of February 17th, 2020. In this week's episode, we report on all Dungeness crab fisheries along the West Coast, from Alaska to California, uncovering last season catch totals, new season projections, and the real effects of ocean acidification on Dungeness crab. If you ask any crab fisherman along the west coast how the fishing is this year, the common theme would be opening delays and rough weather conditions. Despite this, commercial crab fishermen have already managed to bring in over 5 million pounds in Washington, 12.9 million pounds in Oregon, and 9.6 million pounds in California, making over 27.65 million pounds available to the market since the start of the season on December 31st. For British Columbia, Canada, due to a one-year lag in Fisheries and Oceans Canada collecting data, and with the fishery managed on an April to March fiscal year, even 2019 preliminary data is not yet available to us. However, in 2018, BC fishermen brought in over 10.34 million pounds of West Coast Dungeness crab. Since the start of the year, average pricing for Dungeness ranged from $6.95 US a pound for the smaller 1.5 to 2 pound sizing to $9.85 a pound US for ocean run size clusters, FOB West Coast. However, prices look to be sharpening up on strong demand as current offers on Tradex Live for whole cooked brine frozen Dungeness crab can be seen at $7.35 a pound US for 1.5 to 2 pound and $8.20 a pound US for 2 to 2.5 pound FOB Westport, Washington. Our recommendation is to secure your whole cooked Dungeness crab needs now before inventories start to tighten. For Oregon and California, up to 85% of the season's catch is typically brought in during the first eight weeks. In speaking with Tim Novotny at the Oregon Dungeness Crab Commission, he mentions that due to cyclical nature of the fishery, we have been due for a low-end year where they are forecasting for another couple million pounds for the season. Scientists we spoke with at the California Department of Fish and Wildlife advise that current season totals for California probably actually reflect at least 50% of the season totals. Moving back up to Alaska, the 2019 Dungeness crab season has just come to an end, where it ranked as the most valuable on record, bringing in 16.3 million at the docks and the third largest harvest on record at 5.3 million pounds, harvested 30% more than the 4.8 million pounds in 2018. Alaska 2020 season will start back up in, in the summer fishery in June. In comparing catch totals over year over year, 2019 saw 5.3 million pounds from Alaska, 11.7 million pounds from Washington, 18.6 million pounds from Oregon, and 13.5 million pounds from California, totaling just over 49 million pounds of Dungeness crab for the market. Just for comparison, let's put these catch totals up against El Nino, La Nina years and neutral years where the NOAA Climate Prediction Center is forecasting an ENSO neutral conditions through summer 2020. The last time the Northern Hemisphere experienced ENSO neutral conditions was in 2013, where over 70 million pounds of Dungeness was harvested from Alaska to California. Now let's go to Tasha Cadence to review how change, changing ocean conditions are affecting Dungeness crab. Regarding the recent buzz that made headlines on ocean acidification dissolving the shells of Dungeness crab, fishery managers will confirm that the research is about the shell conditions of larval stages. Malformed larval shells may lead to lower larval survival rates, but we don't have a good understanding of how larval survival rates affect fishery catches in later years. It is important to note that we are not seeing any effect to adult crab at this time. 
Troy Buell of the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife advised that there are still at least two other concerning effects on the fishery. Warmer waters lead to more frequent, longer duration and intense harmful algal blooms that produce domoic acid. So far this year, fishery managers from Washington to California do not have concerns with domoic acid, unlike last year where domoic acid resulted in delays and halts to the start of the fisheries. State fishery managers and scientists are also monitoring for the return of the blob that has been forming in the summer but has officially fell below the threshold criteria for a marine heat wave on January 2, 2020, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. This is something that they are watchful for, but there is no immediate concern about another one at this time. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Tasha Cadence. Buy smart and eat more seafood.